a picture. What the? What the hell is this? This man with a mustache on the right. He's the same guy we found murdered in the captain's quarters. He had the zero bracelet on his left arm. And the second man? He's the ninth man. He died after... But this guy? Oh man, that's Ace. Yeah, I guess it is. No doubt about it. But what does it mean? Not only Ace, the ninth man and Cap too. And they look happy, like they knew each other well. Why? How in the world are these four men connected? You say Ace is in that picture? Yeah, it doesn't look like it was taken recently though. Ace, the ninth man, and Cap all look about ten years younger. Ah, so the ninth man and the man you found murdered in the captain's quarters are also in the picture? Yeah. Is there anyone else? Or- No, there's one more guy. He's got kind of long hair. He's the only one I don't recognize. Hmm, what's the date of the photograph? It doesn't have one. Did you look on the back? Back? Yes. Huh. Praying for the success of the Nonary Project with Niji Sa- Huh. Then the four men in this- That means Ace, but- I feel like I should- It's almost as if that's just how things were always supposed to be. Why? Ace was the one in charge of the Nonary Project, but- why? Why? It's like I already knew. Ah, of course. Ace was the CEO of Cradle Pharmaceuticals. He was the one who invented the game nine years ago. Ace's? I had my suspicions. Their voices I couldn't after even zero. Oh my gosh. Huh? I didn't know. Oh, nine. But Hong. I know, but I mean. I'm Splitify and I. Uh. Hey, Junpei. You think I could borrow that picture for a sec? Sure. <laughs> Hongo Kubota. Hongo? Hongo Kubota. Hey, Seven. Shut it. Just, just be quiet. I'm this close to remembering. This close. Hongo Kubota. Cradle Pharmacy. <gasps> shit. What? What's wrong? Holy shit, this is nuts. Um, what's... I remember... Remember what? Everything. Everything? Yeah, yeah, I, I remember all of it. My memory's back. I remember what happened before I got snatched. What? Uh. <sighs> Let me tell you what happened. Like Snake said, Ace is Hongo from the right. Musashido Nijisaki. How do you know all- Come on, man, I told- No, that's not- I'm trying to ask- You really- Of course. Me too. Hmm. This- Well, we don't have- Just give us the- Short version. All right, fine. I'm a detective. It's a little awkward to say this. I hold my own cup. That's why I followed my gut that night. It was not- the war. I was investigating it all happened. Aha, uh -huh. mine after my sister. So I had the It was a man, no doubt. I moved before I came out. Don't move. I felt drop. I just there was nothing safe. There was a shot. Uh, true. That was my life. <clears throat> I woke up on a Damn it! I did a quick wear. A small a toilet. I'd see. I'm in a cell, huh? Facing the, I was still. I pushed. <clears throat> it won't open. <laughs> Not through my. I, I gave up. Huh. I sat there. Then, the voice but was pretty. Huh? No. Huh. Where? I pressed. No. I, I hold. And the bed I draw I hold up at that. Tonight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It didn't. I checked. I stuck my. And then. I finally got sweat. The first bit. Why? I want. A massive dead. Man, almost as if that was a bunch of damn it. I scrambled and made a giant. I soon found a metal door on the left side of the duct. The kids were screaming on the other side. I 
found it. What the? I couldn't believe what I saw. The room had a dome up top. There had to be about nine walls. And the ceiling was an upside down funnel. It was just like a chimney. I looked down. There they were. The kids I'd been searching for. They all gawked up at me, suddenly silent. For the moment. Scared of the room or me, I couldn't tell. <laughs> Not like I can blame them running into a mug like this when they're already scared shitless. I snorted in my own dig at myself and turned to the kids. Don't worry, kids, I'm not your enemy. I'm one of the good guys. All of them stood there, frozen. Well, except one. He was a boy slightly older than the others, in a private school uniform. Who the hell are you? He stepped forward and glared at me suspiciously. I'm a detective. I'm here to rescue you. It looked like they relaxed some the second I got the words out. How are you gonna help us? Where's the exit? There isn't one. The doors we came in through won't open. He kinda cut himself off. I think he was considering something before he changed his mind. Anyway, there's no point. We can't all get out of here. If we don't get out of here, we're gonna be burned to death. Burned to death? Can't you hear it? That voice said the incinerator's gonna start up soon. So... <laughs> Voice spoke again. Incineration will begin in 15 minutes. They only had 15. I looked back down. It's like a good 20 or 30 feet to the floor. No way I could pull them up. Too big of what the hell was I gonna do? But then I got an idea. Wait right there. I'm gonna be right back. What? Where, where is he going? Are, are you just... They just got frightened again. I'm not the best at that kind of thing, but I tried to reassure them with a smile. Don't worry, all right? I'll be back. I promise. So just stay calm and wait right there. I didn't wait to hear them respond. I had to hurry. Well, as fast as a guy could, I was hands and knees. Didn't take me long to get back to my cell. Still no way out of there, but I had a plan. I needed something from the room. When I got it, I dove back into the hole and took off towards the incinerator. Then... Sorry to keep you waiting, guys. I tipped out the doorway and dropped down the rope I brought with me. Back in the cell, I tore in the bed sheets and the strips and tied them together to make a rope. Alright, just tie that around yourself, okay? Right! Huh. Wait a sec. Something was off. There were more of you before. Where'd the rest of you go? The boy in the uniform answered. I let them go on ahead. We opened the number nine door and they left. What? You're telling me you opened that door? That's what I said. Then what the hell are you doing here? We couldn't go with them. Why not? Look, the only people who can go through the number door... He was in the middle of explaining when... <laughs> The wall shook a bit. Look, that can wait, all right? Uh, uh, I grabbed onto the rope. The first one I pulled out was a girl with a ponytail. A boy in a jacket came after me. The boy in a uniform was the last up. Like the other kid, he climbed up the rope himself. He looked pretty scrawny, but I guess he was stronger than he looked. He moved fast, but when it was almost to me, we heard some knocking. Everyone looked at the door. It had a thick, square window set into it. On the other side, an angry face was staring in. God damn it! What's going on here? Why is the room empty? Where the hell are those fucking kids? The door opened, and a man stepped in looking half mad with fury. I recognized his face. I saw him many times in photos during the man's name was Gintaru Hongo the CEO of Cradle Pharmaceuticals. Ongo saw the boy hanging from the rope. Yeah! It was like he was an animal. He lunged for the rope. Hurry! I know! The boy in the uniform looked it up the rope. You son of a bitch! Get back here, you little shit! 15 feet. 10. The second I could reach the kid, I grabbed him. I hauled him up and tossed him into the dock behind me. Yeah! Ongo had lost it. His face... I quickly reeled in the rope. You fucking bastard! You experiment! Incineration will begin in one minute. Hey! Old man! What the hell are you doing? Hurry up! The boy in the uniform was trying to get my attention. I may have thrown a salute in the raging asshole's face before I closed the door behind me. No point to going back to the cell, so we went down the other direction instead. After about 30 feet, we came across another duct on the left. This one was heading down. I already nodded and took turns sliding down it. The duct emptied us out into a narrow hallway. 
There was a door on either side. The one on the left was a normal double door. But the one on the right was familiar. Black and yellow stripes. Plate on it read, Incinerator. Incinerator? Yeah, that's where we were. It was the girl with the red tie who answered me. We were inside an incinerator? Yeah, Hongo might still be there. Wait, what? Yeah, that's not good. <sighs> that meant we better. We gotta get out of here. Go to the other door, hurry! The kids started running, and I was close on their heels. On the other side of the door was a large spiral staircase. Run! Didn't need to tell them twice. Up, feet pounded the steps, and then round and round. The stairway kept going. We passed a couple of landings when the boy in the uniform suddenly spoke. <laughs> Something's up. Akane's not catching up to us. My kid's sister. The girl with the red necktie. Akane. Akane. I didn't remember seeing that name on the list of missing kids. Hey! He kept his hands around his mouth and yelled. <laughs> Maybe we outran her. Boy in the uniform skidded to a stop. I stopped too. And so did the other two kids. When did we do that? Well, we passed a couple big rooms on the way here. No, that's impossible. Sorry, Grandpa. You keep going. He turned to go. Hey, kid, wait! God damn it, I said wait! I don't think the kid even heard me. Fuck! I spun around to the boy in the jacket, the girl with the ponytail. I'm going after him. The girl nodded and ran up the stairs. Boy. I'm going with you. <sighs> I didn't have time to argue. We ran all the way to the bottom floor, calling for her. God damn it! Where the hell did she go? I could tell the kid was frustrated. And then suddenly, help me! Somebody help me! We heard a girl's voice. A con. The boy in the uniform threw open the door and leapt into the hallway by the incinerator. We rushed in after him. I couldn't, for the life of me, believe what we were seeing. That bastard Hongo had Akane by the arm and was forcing her into the incinerator. Come on, goddammit, move! No, I don't want to! Let she planted. <sighs> Her brother roared with anger and charged toward Hongo. Help me! Ah! You're too late, idiot! Hongo lifted Akane bodily into the air and threw her, still fighting him, into the incinerator. Ah! Before we could even blink, Hongo had leapt through the door after her. We saw him land inside. And then, the door slammed shut. We ran to the door. We did everything we could think of to get the thing open, but... Ah! Fuck! It's no use! He started slamming his fists against the door. He was close to shattering his knuckles with how hard he pounded on it. Akane! Akane! Are you okay? You came back! The voice was muffled, but all of us could hear the sheer terror in it. Hongo! He went out the other door! What? Warning. Warning. Emergency in all that I can please if I repeat. Emergency. Are you fucking kidding me? It's the same damn thing! Are you there? Yeah, we're here. Just hang on, alright? His words would have seemed like a sick joke to her if she'd been able to see how white and bloodless his face was right then. <laughs> It was torture listening to her sobbing on the other side of the door. Her brother was nearly crying himself. <sighs> uh, what happened then? Come on, man. Put yourself in my shoes. It doesn't end good. Then... Yeah. Shit. If I'd known it was gonna be like this, I almost wish I hadn't remembered. Hey, um, are you... are you sure? Huh? Look, I don't want to ask this either, but there's there's something I don't get. Hmm. So if you could just tell me, did that girl, Akane, really... Yeah, I'm sure. There wasn't anything we could do. After a while, the countdown ended, and we heard something... burning. We... The fire stopped, but we still didn't move. Me and the jacket kid were frozen. The boy in the uniform collapsed as if... He couldn't hold himself up anymore. A few minutes passed. The door opened.
boy in the uniform tripped over his own feet running in. We followed, too numb to speak. The air in the incinerator was hot. Every breath made my lungs feel like they were on fire. It was like standing on hot asphalt. The air was wavering and, and in the middle of the room. There it lay. The kid's legs were shaking so bad, I don't know how he managed to walk. I couldn't see it. Finally, he reached it. He fell to his knees as his legs gave out on him. And then... Um, um, uh, can I ask you one more thing? What's that? The girl, Akane. What was her last name? What does it matter to you? Just, just tell me, okay? Please? Kurashiki. Her name was Akane Kurashiki. <laughs> you were there that day, weren't you? The tall kid in the jacket. That was you, wasn't it? Yes, it was. You are correct, Detective. Don't misunderstand me. I told you before how Zero threatened me. There was nothing I could do. I couldn't say anything about what happened nine years ago. So you're saying you're not working for Zero, right? Of course not. Clover, what about you? Hey, come on! You really think I'm working with Zero? I told you before, you idiot! I was in Nevada, in Building Q. I did hear that a detective rescued the kids on the boat, but I didn't know it was you. <laughs> well, I guess I believe you. All right, let me ask you another question. Santa's real name is Aoi Kurashiki. He's Akane's brother. You know that? No! No, I didn't. Did you? Well, yes. I know Aoi Kurashiki was her brother, but I didn't know he was Santa. At least not from the beginning. Nine years ago, he was in the middle of puberty. His voice is entirely different now. I'm ashamed to say that even my exceptional hearing wasn't able to make that connection. As such, I had no reason to think Santa was Aoi. When did you figure it out? Clover told me that Santa might have been one of the subjects of the initial experiment. It was only a short while ago, while we were leaving the library. When she told me that, I had a... feeling. Santa is Aoi? Akane Kurashiki, June's brother? There's still a lot we don't know. I mean, like, a lot, a lot. But there is one thing I think we can say we know. What's that? The body we found in the shower room. It had to be Nijisaki, dressed up to look like Snake. What? Come on, man, what kind of detective are you? you... Hey. Hmm. Well, if he is, the... Th yeah, so what? If Junpei is... That means all... Kubota. Niji. Musash. You mean this was all Santa is zero. That's why he killed them. No, I, I don't think Santa actually murdered anyone. If I'm right, then it's not hard to figure out who the next victim's gonna be, is it? I'm pretty sure I don't have to tell you. Yes. Yep. Right. The next target will be Gintaro Hongo. The person who planned the Nonary Project. In other words, Ace. What? what? What the hell's going on here? It must be 6 a.m. Our time is up. Shit! Come on, we need to get out of here. How? I'm betting this sucker opens the exit. Come on, let's go. the shaking stopped. It would seem so, but we are yet to be out of danger. You're right. Let's hurry. This exit needs the Uranus card, too.
Hey, Junpei. Yeah, I know. All right, it's open. Okay, Neptune Key, let's see if you work. Yes! Oh, I think it unlocked. It says incinerator. <laughs>